Vice Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to present to you Mr. Clem Burke, upon whom the university is to confer an honorary doctorate. Clem Burke first started playing drums aged 14 years in the school orchestra, and he's quoted as saying he got chucked out for playing the drums too loud. Throughout his remaining teenage years, he found himself playing in high school bands, and developing a style of play that will become his trademark as a world-class musician. He also attended New Jersey University and New York University, where he studied in the arts and social sciences. In the mid-1970s, Clem answered an advert in the New York newspaper Village Voice, where a band was seeking a high-energy drummer. The band in question was Blondie and fronted by the iconic lead singer Debbie Harry. The band played the fabled New York downtown circuit of clubs, including CBGB's, Max's Kansas City and Mother's amassing a major following before signing to, to record, record their first album, Blondie, in 1976 for the private stock label. Clem left university at this point to pursue his musical career with Blondie. The album was released in 1977 and was well received as the band toured in support of Iggy Pop and David Bowie. Blondie emerged as the great pop icons of New York's celebrated late 70s new wave punk scene and achieved commercial success in the late 1970s and early 1980s with number one hit singles Atomic, Heart of Glass, Sunday Girl, Call Me, Rapture and The Tidy's High. During periods of inactivity with Blondie during the 1980s and 1990s, Clem played with a number of well-respected artists and bands, including Bob Dylan, Pete Townsend, Iggy Pop, The Ramones, Checkered Past, The Romantics and Joan Jett. Perhaps the most notable collaboration was with Annie Lennox and Dave Stewart, the Eurythmics, who he helped record the Grammy-winning hit, Missionary Man. Clem also appeared as part of the Eurythmics at the Free Nelson Mandela concert in 1988, playing to a live audience of 80,000 people. In 1998, Clem was instrumental in Blondie reforming and recording a new album, which contained the number one hit single, Maria. In 1999, Clem met Dr. Marcus Smith at the University of Chichester for the first time to discuss the possibility of using scientific methods to understand more about the physical challenges facing the rock or pop drama during live performances. Over recent years, Clem has been able to combine working with Blondie and other artists, including Nancy Sinatra, Kathy Valentine, Miss Derringer, Slinky Vagabond, Magic Christian and Hugh Cornwell. In 2006, along with the other original members of Blondie, Clem was inducted into the prestigious Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, with Blondie already having sold over 42 million records. This year, Blondie released the Panic of Girls album and are currently touring to sell out audiences worldwide. Clem has been associated with the university since 2005, when he began working with exercise physiologists Dr. Steve Draper and Dr. Chris Potter and Dr. Marcus Smith in a project to determine the energy requirements of rock drumming. This work formed the basis for two research papers presented at international scientific conferences in 2008. 2008 also saw the official launch of the Clem Burke Drumming Project, with Clem as its figurehead, to investigate the science and potential health benefits of drumming. This event took place at the University of Gloucestershire's Oxford's campus, where Clem personally launched the project and opened the university's drumming laboratory. Media interest in the launch was extensive, with BBC Breakfast Television reporting throughout their 7 to 9 a.m. show, along with BBC Radio 5 Live. The story was also picked up by other national, regional television and newspapers. For example, the Times ran the story in the UK, America, Australia and Fiji. Doctors Draper, Potter and Smith gave live radio broadcast to stations in Ireland, Germany, USA and Australia, and the story was most commented on the entire BBC network that day. The Clemberg Drumming Project is now world-renowned world and its members have been asked to speak at several prestigious and international events, including the London International Music Show, the Cheltenham Science Festival, Games for Health in Boston and Fire Rhythm Live in Dublin. Since its inception, the Clemberg Drumming Project has completed research projects in energy, energy expenditure and began to investigate the therapeutic effects of drumming for autistic <coughs> children. It is currently embarking on new projects looking at the thermal stresses of rock drumming performances and drumming exercise for the super obese. Clem Burke continues to be the charismatic figurehead of the groundbreaking project. We have received the following messages from the drumming community regarding today's world. Nick Mason of Pink Floyd said, 
It is always great to hear about recognition for a drummer, particularly when it's particularly deserved for doing something as worthwhile and interesting as Clem's work. Makes a change from the old TV out of the hotel window routine. Congratulations. Nico McBrain of Iron Maiden said, Clem Burke, the powerhouse drums of Blondie and many others, has been an inspiration to many and will be continue to be so for many more years to come. His style of solid groove with splashes of taste and aggression sum up this ultimate rock drummer. Through fitness, stamina and passion, he has remained one of the leading old school giants of his genre. Steve White, of Paul Weller, said, Still one of my favourite ever drummers and is important, a great guy, a true fan and an amazing ambassador for the art of drums. You are truly deserving of such an honour. Earl would have been proud too. Congratulations. Stuart Copeland of The Police said, Bondi had great songs and a sexy singer, but it was the effervescent drive of Clem Burke that lifted the band way above all of the competition. The 70s and 80s were a time when virtuosity was frowned upon, but Clem got chops into those pop tracks that were so slick that he completely got away with being a serious musician. Dame Evelyn Glennie, DBE, said, My heartiest congratulations to you, Clem, on today's well-deserved honour. The recognition and admiration you have around the world through your work as a musician continues to reverberate in such positive ways. Today, in receiving an honorary doctor of music from the University of Gloucestershire, you will continue to inspire many people from all walks of life. And for that, I hope you feel the drum roll of congratulations. Clem Burke is a world-renowned drummer, Grammy Award winner, and member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. In addition, he is a co-founder and figurehead for the renowned Clem Burke Drumming Project, based at the University of Gloucestershire. Today we honour Clem's achievements as an artist and thank him for his continued support and work at this university. Vice-Chancellor, I now call upon you to confer the award of Doctor of Music, Honoris Causa, on Mr Clem Burke. Chancellor, thank you, Dr. Smith, Dr. Draper. How do you guys like my hat? <laughs> What's it suits me? What are you trying to say? I am the god of hellfire, bro. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, you know, uh, I'd like to thank my uh, parents, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Clement Pazuski. Uh, without their love and support, I certainly wouldn't be here today. My wife, Ellen, for all her love. My fellow bandmates in Blondie and all the other uh, musicians I've had shared musical experiences with over the last, uh, I don't know, I guess 40 years now or more. Um, I'd like to thank my uh, tech, Mr. Rick West, for helping me out in the last bunch of years. Uh, Premier Drum Company for the sponsorship that they had given me for over uh, 30 plus years. Uh, Zildjian Cymbal Company. Uh, DW Drums, Garrison and John Good at DW. And I'd like to just tell everyone to remember to keep an open mind and always seek inspiration in your instrument and in your life. And uh, there's nothing wrong with making mistakes in public, and this is probably one of them. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> just remember to visualize your dreams and stay positive. And uh, I accept this on behalf of my brother drummers all over the world and fellow musicians. And I'd like to dedicate this to the late great um, Earl Palmer. So thank you very much. Great. Great.